Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Allie and I flip furniture part-time as well as freelance graphic design, social media management, and illustration the other half of the time. And I was gonna take give you guys a tour of the shop and what I consider my office. Uh, I get a lot of questions on how I can afford to live this way. Trust me, I can't afford anything. But I enjoy what I do and I love helping businesses with social media and design as well as helping people make their house feel more like a home with the furniture and vintage home decor that I thrift. Okay, first things first, let's go out to the shop. Let's just say I don't know anyone's shop that's organized who is like super, super creative unless they have someone clean it for them, so just be warned. Also, it's half shop, half garage, half storage, and then my mom usually parks her car in here, so we got a lot going on. But we're gonna first start off showing you guys all the different projects we have going. We have some signage being painted, and then we're going to add either chalkboard paint or use the Cricut, which is a vinyl cutting machine to create typography or other kind of designs to put on these signs. Next, we have a finished project that I was using to film for some social media content. Um, it's kind of sitting out in the middle of nowhere right now. It's usually tucked away and covered. We're also bringing this piece to uh, the vendor show that we're doing in March. This piece is in progress. It needs a little bit more paint put onto it and then a top coat and then added the handles which we're deciding on some handles. We even got some leather ones that could possibly go with it. We're not sure yet. So that's in progress. Then let's come right over here. This table is upside down. It's because it's a really heavy table and I use this trolley to get it outside and it needs to be sanded, completed. Most of the top is sanded. We have to do around the edges still, and then we will re-stain that and re-seal it. But for now, it's sitting there because it's not top priority. Okay, things that we're selling on Marketplace are all right here. That's kind of a mess in itself. Here is some things that are, this is garbage. This is from my dad's truck just storing them right there for some reason. And we are also having some furniture that are not done, that need to be done. But on top is the little setup that I was working on that will eventually go on this table when we go to the vendor show. So it's some of the vintage decor that I went and thrifted that we will be selling at the show. And then we can head on over across this mountain of mess to this. This is actually not my project, it's my dad's project. We are using some kitchen cabinets, old ones that someone was selling, to go and make cabinets, floor cabinets, in a pantry. So right now he is actually filling in the wood grain to make it smooth, and eventually we'll be sanding it and then painting it. And then we have a bunch of tools that are a big giant mess in the back. So yeah, that's what we got going on. And trust me when I say, me and my parents, we all wish we had an organized shop. It just always seems like we have never like enough room. And I'm always acquiring projects, even when I'm not finished with the first project, uh, because I do it as a business. And eventually I'm just gonna have to go get a storage unit and hopefully one day a big old house with a big shop or garage. I'm working towards it, we're gonna get there. I am gonna own an old house with a shop. Okay, now let's move on to what really makes me the money, what keeps me able to pay the bills, and that will be my freelance design business that I run social media accounts and do graphic design for people. I'll show you some examples and I will show you my office. Okay, we are in the spare bedroom of my parents' house right now. And yes, it is used for storage as well as my little tiny table office. 
But we have this luxury massage chair and this really lovely piece of furniture, guest bed. Yeah, we got we got pretty sweet little setup in here, huh? So I am going to show you guys some of the stuff that I work on. I can't obviously share current clients or current projects, but I'll show things that I've done in my past. Okay, so now I'm going to show you some things that I've done. But before we do that, I'm going to quick show you my Instagram account where if you want to continue to see the work I work on or if you guys want some help with social media or any of the things that I offer, you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I also have a Facebook page. And then if you ever have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'll also put my email in the description below if you want to do collaborations, anything. I'm open to everything. I love working with people, meeting new people, and seeing what they are passionate about. It's amazing. I, I've met some really cool people. So let's get into stuff that I've done in the past. Okay, so we're going to start off with one of my absolute favorite clients that I've ever worked with. I didn't get to work with them super long, but it was so amazing the amount of time I got to spend with them because the owners of this nonprofit in Rochester, Minnesota are amazing people. Like, amazing so they have a profit a non-profit that's called the landing mn and they help out homelessness in rochester minnesota where they help provide like the basic needs for people who are struggling with homelessness um they have showers and storage food and just community and it's like so amazing if you haven't heard of them or you don't follow them on social media you really should uh, here are some of the social media graphics that I made for them. It was really fun. We did wallpapers so that people could screenshot them and have some uplifting wallpapers to put on their phones. And then I got to illustrate for them. And it was just a really cool organization to be a part of. Okay, so now let's move on to illustration. And I know a lot of people get illustration kind of mixed up with graphic design sometimes. And they're very different. Very different very different but i have a passion for illustration and i was so lucky to have the opportunity a couple of years ago to illustrate this children's book which has led to me illustrating other children's books and so that's a huge blessing to me um the first one i did was this one butterfly bella and then we worked with a mechanic who wanted to do a children's book about oil changes and then we went on to this current one that i'm working on uh, with the author. It's not completed, so I'm not going to show anything yet. But, oh, and I also did one about dogs. It was the cutest book ever. I totally recommend you purchasing this for either yourself or your kids because it was such a cute book. Um, yeah, and lots of these are available on Amazon. The mechanic one, you have to go into his shop to uh, get one, or I think maybe you can contact him and he might send it to you. But anyways, <laughs> These were so much fun to do. Okay, so this was actually my very first job after I graduated from college. I worked at a company that wrapped trailers, vehicles, also made signs, branding, business, whatever. They did everything, but mainly was known for wrapping trailers. So I uh, worked with some pretty insane uh, companies like KTM, Menards, uh, Red Bull, let's see, <sighs> Titleist, tons of people because they all bought from Featherlight Graphic or Featherlight Trailers, which means that they would also get it wrapped at Featherlight Graphics. And I got to work with all those, which was really cool. A lot of math, which is not, which is a little bit scary for someone who's a creative mind, but we got through it. Um, so here's some examples of those. Okay, now we're going to talk about agency life. There is such a love-hate relationship with agencies. I worked for a marketing agency where I was a social media specialist. So I worked with a ton of social media accounts in almost like every industry, I swear. Um, I worked with, if you're local here, you'll know like Wildwoods, um, Zambroda, 
oh wait, not Zambrona, Zumbro Valley Health Center. I worked with a tree service in the cities, um, mechanical, like heating and plumbing businesses. I've worked like so many industries. Um, so yeah, I have some examples or you can go and follow their social media if you would like to. I don't run it anymore, but um, that was kind of fun and it really got me into social media to the more of the behind the scenes of, okay, this is what it takes to run multiple accounts. And now I do that freelancing. So it was a really big stepping stone in my business career, like learning for my own business. Um, and I appreciate all the work I did there and the people I worked with were really cool. Um, so yeah, so here's some of those examples. Okay, if you guys want to see more, like I said, you can go ahead and follow my accounts. I also have a website that doesn't have a lot on it, but a few things on it. Um, I could go on and on about all the things I've done. I have done so many things. I've done t-shirts, tattoos, banners. I have done chalk designs on chalkboards. So many different things. So if you have a question about it or you want to see how much it would cost or see how much time it would take, ask me. I will answer anything. I love working with people. Um, you can probably find, you can either ask me through email, on my Instagram, or you can, oh, I have a Facebook too. Any of those things. And if you have questions about furniture and vintage thrifting, you can ask me that stuff too. I literally do this all day, every day, even on the weekends. I might not get back to you as fast on the weekends, but I'm still probably there. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to support me in any way, please go ahead, like this video, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I will see you guys in the next video.